Hello, YouTube viewers and random BattleBots fans. From out of the darkness they came. First was the Tombstone and Witch Doctor, then came the impressive Beta and Minotaur, and last year they gave us more with Bronco and another Witch Doctor. But now, Hexbug have a new rival set for 2019. Introducing Bite Force and Blacksmith, miniaturized remote control versions of their deadly real life counterparts. Hexbug have been on a winning streak with their remote control fighting robots, but will these two newcomers let the side down? We've been waiting a long time for a Bite Force in the rivals line, but will it have been worth the wait? Does the Blacksmith Hammer offer improvements over the 2017 Beta Hammer? Well, let's get into the review and find out. The packaging is in the same layout as the others in the Rivals line. The two toys are displayed nicely behind a huge sheet of plastic. The base they're attached to resembles the floor of the battle box, and both controllers have their own display windows along the bottom. So far so good, but unlike with older editions, these follow the same display as the Bronco and Witch Doctor pack. They aren't shown in their exploded views with all the breakaway pieces separated. The sides give us an image of each competitor, while the back gives us a breakdown of both machines, as well as the controller instructions, other toys available, and extra stuff and blah which you can read by pausing the video. That does it for the box, let's open it up and take a closer look at the toys. Okay, so here we have our 2019 BattleBots rivals, and let's kick things off with the 2015 and 2018 champion, Bite Force. As expected, Hexbuck have done a magnificent job in recreating the machine. Its triangular construction has been molded into the sides and on the weapon supports, while you can also spot the rivets which have been added into the plastic. The various sponsor logos adorn the top panel and have been given a high level of detail which even extends to the Aptics logo on the back. Likewise, the spinning bar weapon on the front has been recreated sharply and also present is the all-important weapon belt cover. But the big talking point here are the front wedgelets. These are used on the actual machine to give it a 0 centimeter ground clearance, but offer enough give to stop it getting snagged on the hazards or imperfections in the floor. They achieve this by making them hinged, and in an unbelievable bit of attention to detail, Hexbug have included that feature here. All four have their own hinges, which shows a high level of care and attention that most companies may take for granted, but not Hexbug. It may be simple, but it all adds to giving kids and adults that chance to replicate the feeling of fighting with these machines for real. On the underside we get the usual, battery compartment, on off button and the legal scum flanderblatt. But overall, it's a faithful recreation of its heavyweight counterpart. Moving across to Blacksmith, it's a very similar affair. The detail is extremely sharp, encompassing its unique design, and much like with Bite Force, the front wedge is likewise articulated. The sides offer sponsor logos as well as the struts and rivets. The top offers more of the same, while the wheels are exposed thanks to these slots on the back. The hammer is thick and chunky with a resilient shaft. The head includes the cleaver design on the front, as well as a hole replicating the flamethrower. As with Bite Force, the underside is subject to the usual battery compartment, on off switch, and legal Merschenberger. It's fair to say that both machines look excellent and really capture the likenesses of their bigger brothers. But fighting robots are nothing without destruction, and a common feature with all rivals packs makes a return here removable panels which can be knocked off during play. Quite possibly the biggest removable panel so far has been included on Bite Force, with the entire top armor able to be popped off. The two sets of front wedgelets can also be removed, but are held on tightly, which is a big plus during play. On Blacksmith, the entire front wedge is removable, and with those black struts sticking out of the side, it looks to be an easy target to attack. Both top panels can also be removed, revealing a clear plastic shell underneath, below which the electronics, the motors, and the wires are all visible. This is the same on Bite Force and is an excellent idea as young kids get to see what makes the toys move and gets them curious about STEM subjects at an early age. Plus there's the added entertainment value of smashing up the toys during play without having to buy a new one each time. The one downside is that the magnets that once held the panels on the first two rival sets are now gone, with pegs loosely holding the panels on, which are stronger in places such as the front wedges, but weaker on the top armour. To pop those off, all you have to do is turn the robot upside down. The controllers are the same as before, they're small with controls for forward and back as well as right and left, a channel selector slider and a weapons button on the top. Pressing the button on the bottom turns the robot on 
and the closest controller will automatically pair with it. Byte Force is very nimble and agile, making it very easy to control. It's certainly one of the fastest Hexbug toys in the range, and it's the first to have front and rear wheel drive, with the front wheels connected to the motors and the back wheels connected via a system of gears while the tires are coated in thick rubber, offering excellent traction. The weapon is in a similar setup to the other vertical spinners in the range, with a belt connected to a motor. The spin-up time is almost instantaneous, and it glides smoothly, while being safe enough to touch, which stops it instantly. One press of the button on the controller turns it on, while a second push will stop it. Blacksmith is operated in pretty much the same way, and if the bite force drive was impressive, the speed is phenomenal here. I genuinely have no idea how Hexbug managed to do this. The raw power that drives this machine shouldn't be, as it's a heavier machine yet moves with the grace of a ballet dancer. It can perform hairpin turns at high speeds and treats them like they're nothing. This is all the more impressive when you consider that the back wheels are free wheeling. Only the front two propel the robot. How is this possible? The hammer is also a powerhouse in its own right, with a large gear added to the end of the shaft to operate it. It is quite loose and can be moved forward and back freely with your hand, but when it's fired, the earth itself shakes. It slams into the ground with such a force and speed that it rocks the entire toy. Already a big improvement over the Hexbug Beta, Blacksmith's Hammer also features an auto-retract, meaning you just have to press the button once to fully swing the axe and bring it back, while with Beta, the Hammer would swing forward with one button press, but needed another press to swing back. The Blacksmith weapon is also manual like Beta's, and won't swing repeatedly like the axes in the Build Your Own Battlebot wave. So now, it's time for the most important test. How well do they fight? Well, for this, we'll be using a bigger arena than the Hexbug Battle Box to really put these two toys through their paces. That's right, they'll be fighting it out in the Antweight Anarchy Arena. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one... Activate. The two machines going head to head there and immediately damage caused. I think that's one little wedge that's on Bite Force that's just popped off. We're seeing it on the replay. Away it flew. Look at the height it reached. Bouncing on the arena floor as Blacksmith brings that hammer down. Bite Force on the back foot up until that moment. They've taken off one of the side panels there on Blacksmith. Beautifully with that spinning blade up and away. Flicked as if it was nothing. And Blacksmith now certainly on the back foot. And look at that for a push from Bite Force. We're definitely seeing the power here capable of that four wheel drive. That innovative design for the drive system for these Hexbug toys. Pushing, ramming, bullying Blacksmith into that side wall. Blacksmith looking to recover here. It looks like it's not going to happen, but they've taken off the top panel. Seeing it here once again. Down comes the hammer, caught it perfectly on the corner, and away flew that big top panel bite force, looking to cause de devastation and damage. They've lost the other panel! Again, great effect here to come in with that spinning bar, and away goes that loose armor on the top of Blacksmith. Blacksmith now pushed on to the pit cover there. They're gonna have to try and escape Get up that lid and out before Bite Force goes for the pit and down goes Blacksmith. That's it for this battle. Blacksmith trying to get away. They forgot their lucky horseshoe and into the pit they went. Bite Force the winner. Cease. And finally, doing a size comparison, both Bite Force and Blacksmith fit in nicely with the others in the Hexbug Rivals range, while being much bigger than the Push Strike Wave and around the same size as the Clutch and Clash versions. Surely leaving all the Bite Force supporters out there very pleased indeed. So, overall, what do I think of the BattleBots Rivals 2019 set? I think it was great. I'm so happy. I, I genuinely so happy. think this is great, and I'm, I'm actually really starting to get sick of saying this now. Every single time that Hexbug released a new BattleBots rival set. They get I'm, better. I'm just more and more impressed. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, like, the big thing for me with this set now, one is the Blacksmith Hammer. Because oh. it's worlds away from the, the beta. It yeah. actually makes the beta look bad by comparison. It's sad the fact that we don't have that, that mechanism on beta. 
That yeah. would be really cool. But right. my That's, god, man. I think it's fantastic. Uh, that and the four wheel drive on Bite Force. That is so clever. Hexbug really know what they're doing now. Well, they've always know what they're doing. Like, I've driven a couple of four wheel drive at me before, and you own one as well. It ha doesn't handle like that. Yeah, it's got the tank steering type stuff. It's just, just effortless. Another big positive with the blacksmith is it can use the hammer to self right Yeah. Like it, in a much better way than it can with Beta. And another good plus as well is with Bite Force, because it's got the four-wheel drive, it's not like with the Witch Doctor, for example, where you flip it over and that's it, it's dead. No. It can still drive upside down. There is one little tiny bit that I would say is I wish it did have little tiny wheels on the top fins. That meant it would just perfectly drive around, but still, it's really cool. It does struggle, but it's still nice to see that upside down, you can't stop it. Yes. Just like the real just one. Keep going. Yeah. Finally, we've got Bite Force as a champion as well, finally released. Not only that, though, this is a rivals pack that makes sense because Blacksmith and, and Bite, Bite Force, Force have, have met each other, yeah. I think they both of them handle really well, too. The driving is fantastic for both of them. Yes. Like, they, they react instantaneously. I did have a worry that the fact that Blacksmith only has two-wheel drive, I thought, ah, it's going to be a bit more slower, but it is really fast. The speed yeah. on it is unbelievable, I think. I don't, I don't think that's something you can ever properly capture on film. No. Because it just looks like it's just going at a regular speed of a normal hex bug, but honestly, you put the two of them side by side, they're so quick. And before we go, a massive thank you has to go to Mike from Mr. Psycho 2, yes that is your name, for sending these out to us because they're not actually available outside the US at the minute. So, big thanks to him. Go check out his channel. He reviews fighting robots. It's mad. You'll love it. So, Hexbug, please, for the love of God, release these in the UK and abroad. That would be awesome. Uh, and yeah, I think that'll do it for this review. So... Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please support us on Patreon if you aren't already. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video if you haven't already. Cheers for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. I want it. <laughs> oh, I tried!